Hi, this is David from Electric Teaching, and we're going to continue on with part four of making your own grapher with Python and Pygame. I'm down here in the keyboard and mouse actions, and what I need to do is I want to put in the keyboard commands or the characters that are being recognized by the keystrokes. And the way we're going to do this is using the Pygame library instead of uh, an if statement being a Pygame quit command, which is the upper red X in the in the window, we're going to say else if the event type is or double equal a pi game dot capital in fact all caps key down key down and then colon hit return. So this is regist this is the pi games library of recognizing any keyboard commands or any keystrokes. We now need to say which key. So let's do the number keys here so that when we type up the numbers, in fact, we forgot to put a comment on here, but what we're doing is when we type up the numbers, so numbers typed in for equation and the x variable, that's what we're going to put in here. And so if the event is a key, and it is a double equal k underscore one then we're going to take the equation array and append append it'll, it'll attach um, another element into the array right now the array is empty so this will start attaching um, anything into the array which will then as we said before, do all the little things to take out the commas, et cetera, and join the whole um, string and put it in the equation. So append the one, and we're going to put that in quotes. Next line is an else if event key double equal, so k, capital K, underscore two, colon, and again, I'm using an else if because I want this one key to be recognized or any or or the other keys to be recognized this is an if or kind of situation so or this happens or or the next thing happens that's what the else if does and same idea equation append oops too many p's append parentheses quote and then put the two in now i need to do this for zero through nine so what we're going to do is we're going to pause the video and you should do the same thing that i'm going to do which is copy Copy, I like to copy it this way so it catches the return. Copy and then paste, paste in a bunch of them and just change the twos to three, four, five, all the way up to zero. So let's pause and do. Okay, and for my last one here, let's see, we're going to put in the X value, the X value. So this is the X variable, I should say, not value, which will represent a value when we um, go to graph the equation and evaluate any points on it. Uh, double check, if not triple check, make sure that the key is one and the append is one and two, two, three, three, etc. Make sure you have no misspellings and you got all the other syntax working well. Now let's put in the commands for the math um, operations like multiplications and parentheses and division, etc. So what I need to do is I need to go up above, up above this, uh, excuse me, not there, up above the the numbers, the typing in of the numbers. In fact, I put this comment line in the wrong spot. Technically, it goes right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put we're going to put in commands for um, the math operations with the universal code recognized uh, or recognition, I should say. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's if event instead of pi game instead of a pi game key, I'm going to use um, the um, command called Unicode. So it's event.unicode and it has an equal instead of equal like a K underscore. It uses the syntax of U, I guess stands for universal maybe, and then a single quote and then what we're going to put in like maybe a multiplication symbol, so shift eight or the asterisk, and then the um, close quote. 
semi, excuse me, colon, and hit return. So this is a universal code, and what I found is when I tried to use the Pygame codes for this, it did not work very well. And if I don't put the universal code or this Unicode event up above the um, event keys, it tends to have some problems in recognizing which keystroke I'm really intending it to do. Let's put another comment on here and make sure we know what we're doing here. And these are the math operations and symbols for the equation. Okay, so let's see. Same idea. Equation. Equation. So if we we're going to put in the asterisk, we're going to append equation dot append parentheses quote shift eight. So the asterisk close quote close parentheses. Um, we want to be sure that this if statement doesn't get in conflict with this if statement down here or do both or get confused between each other. So that's another reason to use the else if. So I'm switching that to an else if. So everything below is an else if. Same idea. We're going to put in another line and then we should probably just pause this and let each other type in or copy and paste in the rest. Okay. This one, let's see. I'll put in a uh, plus sign. So you single quote plus single quote colon and then equation append adding on to the array the plus sign in in quotations and then close the parentheses okay so again i'm going to copy and paste and change it and we're going to add in let's see we need to add in the division uh subtraction a decimal or use the period um, and then the parentheses, and then also for squaring, we're going to use um, the caret, and I'll show you how to do that right at the end. So let's pause and get in these extra symbols. Okay, I'm back, and I just want to double check. We went from multiplication to addition, division with the slash, subtraction with the dash, uh, decimal point for uh, with the period, and then the parentheses open and close, and then the asked, uh, the, excuse me, the um, last one I'm going to do is the exponent command, which is the usually done with um, the shift six, which is the caret, but I'm going to append two asterisks or two multiplication symbols, and in Python that is recognized to be a um, exponent so that we can square and cube, etc. Let's see, I've got all my operations in. I haven't tested this. I hope this works. Otherwise, I've got a lot of undoing of copying and pasting to do, and we should have checked this probably earlier. I'm just double checking, is there anything else I need with the math operations? And there's nothing else that I can see that we need with the math operations. So let's try to run it, see what we got. Okay, so I should be able to type in equations like, you know, 3 times x minus 2. And just to try out some other symbols here, let's do a shift six, and it puts in the double asterisk. I can make it to an exponential now, so that's minus an exponential there. And let's see, plus and subtraction division. Looks like we have everything working very nicely. And I think I'm going to stop here and then go on to part five where we show you how to graph the equation. I'm David from Electric Teaching. I hope you're enjoying this.